welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today we are going to speak about top 10 interview questions no matter which job you are appearing for these questions will be asked in any form so it is important for us to at least be prepared at a basic level before even appearing for the job interviews so today we will go ahead and learn and understand one of these 10 questions and how you are going to have to deal with these 10 questions so let us start with the first question tell me something about yourself now this is typically the first question the interviewer will ask you once you take your seat the most important and the most basic question without which the interview cannot even proceed now you need to answer this question about yourself without giving out too much or too little personal information tell me about yourself is a question which sets up the whole interview to be centered on your job application and you you have to make the first impression your best impression so how do you go about answering this question now describe yourself in the first sentence the crux of the description relies upon being crisp and to the point in the attempt an example has been given below to explain hi uh, I'm Satish I'm from Lucknow I have five years of working experience in marketing I have completed my graduation from Lucknow University in my family my father is a businessman and my mother is a housewife I have three siblings my hobbies are playing football and dancing now with this small example you can see the whole introduction has been covered in just few lines and I'm sure you all can prepare at least the basic part of your introduction so that you start with a bang be prepared for rapid fire round mostly interviewers will ask questions from your hobbies and family background or about your experience so this few lines of introduction will form the basis of your interview and all the questions which the interviewer will ask will come from your introduction so make sure every word which you utter has to be prepared you are from Lucknow they can ask you about Lucknow you have five years of experience in marketing they will definitely ask you about your experience as a marketing analyst or whatever job you did you have completed your graduation from Lucknow University you have to tell something about Lucknow University if you have spoken about your family background they might ask you what are your three siblings doing and the most asked questions will be from your hobbies so ensure that whatever hobbies you are uttering you have to be very punctual on that my hobbies are playing football and dancing so who was your favorite football team this this World Cup in what form of dance you practice do you get time to to dance now these are the questions that can be formed just from your own introduction so now you can imagine and lay emphasis and importance on how important introduction about yourself is now the second question is strength now here you need to think about your most relevant strengths that you can apply to this particular job these questions will help the interviewer find out if you are right for the job so give them a personal strength that makes them think that you are the candidate for them now some of these strengths which you can definitely speak about which is common for everyone and we can also relatively explain it by giving some personal examples enthusiasm trustworthiness creativity discipline patience respectfulness determination dedication now you can combine all these strengths or few of these strengths and speak and answer about this a question I'm a very enthusiastic person I'm trustworthy and creative I need I want to bring out new things in whatever work I do I believe discipline will teach patience 
and once you are patient, you will definitely achieve respectfulness for others. Your determination and dedication will lead you to a better career progress. Now these are kind of answers which you need to practice. Some of these strengths which you need to know and imbibe with your personal examples. Now these are the answers which will give you that job. What are your weaknesses? Now interviewers have heard that I'm perfectionist. Many a times something fresh and original could do this trick. Now these are two possible ways you can go about this. One is you can answer that in a funny quite way. Uh, where you have built up a good rapport with your interview and you your weakness could be chocolate so another route is that you could take would be to pick a weakness that isn't or that won't affect you if you were to get a job now you have to mask your strength as weakness now this is a very tricky question they want to know what kind of weakness you have now your weakness should not and never has to impact the kind of work which you're doing to going to do in the organization so you can definitely come up with something which is your weakness but it is not going to impact the job which you're going to do in the company for example i like to trust people and i often trust them quite easily which uh, sometimes i get betrayed as well so this is something which is natural many people trust people so this is something which you will definitely learn uh, in experience so this is something which you can speak as a weakness now chocolate is my weakness whenever i see chocolate i desperately fall for it now this is a, a very uh, a easy answer which you can definitely try but if the interview is more on a serious note you can surely pick up a strength which can be portrayed as a weakness but it will not directly impact the kind of job which you're going to do point number four why should we hire you now this is the question that is the most critical question now the interviewer is asking you to be in his position and judge you based on your skills knowledge and experience to hire you now the key thing is to remember is to be specific show you know something significant the details about the company and their general practices because you have researched the firm and are prepared tell a success story that highlights how you have the qualities needed to fill the specific needs don't be too modest this is your chance to shine make it count on the philip side you do not go overboard and sound too arrogant now since this is a very tricky question you can play very safe now before you appear for any interview you have to search about the company you need to learn the basics of the company in which you are appearing for as an interview you need to know the management the kind of work which the company does what are the various products what are the various profiles which the company hires for <clears throat> now these are the things which will definitely let the interviewer know that you have researched about the company and you are serious about the job now one thing which you can do is you can relate if you have a work experience prior or even if you have worked in a college a success story to what the company does let's suppose the company is into advertising and in the college you had an experience where you ran an advertising campaign and you were really successful so you can speak at this place and relate your success story as an as an advertiser in a college to what the company does now it can go like this uh, yes sir i have been uh, a part of election campaigns in my college wherein i was the person who was responsible for the advertisement of the candidates and i must tell you i ensured by my innovative advertising techniques through various social media and by creating groups within the college so that the candidate which we wanted he won by huge margin so now you have directly related yourself to the job profile for which you are being hired this is the trick why did you leave your last job 
This is also a very important question. Here you will need to be very careful as there are many possible answers you could use. Just remember to never talk negatively about any prior or current employer to a potential employer. Do not speak negative about your past employer or your boss. If you left voluntary, be sure to explain why. For example, you wanted a different challenge, you wanted a better salary, you wanted better growth opportunities, you wanted to move on. Hint, a challenge offered by a company and a position you are interviewing for. So let's suppose the company and the profile which you are appearing for interview now is more challenging. You can use that as an answer. Don't bash your last company or boss or anything along those lines. Words like downsizing and budget cuts and bad economy are good defenses if they are true and there are reasons for departure from the job. So if your reason for the job is downsizing because of the bad market or the poor economic conditions, you can definitely speak about it and that will not be a negative thing. Where do you see yourself five years from now? This is the most common question which you will have to answer. Now the idea, the ideology and the reason why the interviewer wants you to answer this question is because he wants to see how you as a person think about the future and the growth of the organization. So the question is personal but he wants to see how big you can think. So reassure your employer that you are looking to make a long-term commitment to the company. Show that you believe that future opportunities will take care of themselves if you perform your job well. Ambition is never a bad thing. It shows you a highly motivated self-starter. It is always good to say that you hope to see yourself with more responsibilities in a company that values your skill and your input. So you can give a very positive answer to this question. Yes, sir, I see myself in this organization at a better place, certainly at a higher level. I'll perform all the responsibilities and duties which I'm given to and will give my 100% efforts to achieving those. I'm sure the organization will certainly have a place for my efforts and will recognize the same. This is a perfect answer. How much salary you're expecting? Now, you don't have to be uh, shy about it, but you cannot be very blunt about it. You need to play a very conservative uh, role here. You won't be getting home with millions each month. You understand the profile which you're applying for. You know what is the basic salary criteria. So if you are a fresher, you can leave the salary component to the HR. However, you can definitely speak about all the good things and the experience you have gained over a period of time. And obviously, uh, most of the things, if you are, if you have already worked, your uh, last drawn salary will be taken into consideration. So this is a question which you can definitely uh, answer at a conservative level, or you can leave up to the HR to decide the same. Now, how do you handle stress and pressure? Now, this is uh, an important question, which uh, in the time of corporate world and the lot of stress you have to answer this question quite well. You need to make the person understand that you do not take pressure but you take the situation and work according to it. So if a lot of works comes to you, it is not a pressure for you. It is a challenge and an opportunity for you to perform more and better and give yourself as the best version of yourself. So what do you do when things go don't go smoothly at work? How do you deal with difficult situations? What do you do when something goes wrong? The best way to respond to this question is to give an example of how you have successfully handled stress in a previous job. Avoiding claim. Avoid claiming that you never or rarely experience stress. Everyone feels stressed. Formulate your answer in a way that acknowledges workplace stress and explain how you have overcome it or even used to it to your advantage. Now you can start with a very good example. So I understand that stress is a part of today's work culture. But for me, stress is more of giving my better version. And I believe that 
stress should always be taken in a very positive way by involving yourself in extracurricular activities. So whenever I feel stressed or worked out, I go out and spend some time with my friends just for 15 or 20 minutes and have a good chat. Now this is how I reduce or you know, work under pressure or stress. What is your greatest accomplishment? Now, this is somewhat similar to what is your greatest strength. Now, question can be handled along the same lines. You want to pick up an accomplishment that shows you having the qualities that the company puts value in and that are desirable for the position you are interviewing for. So talk about an accomplishment, talk about an achievement that exhibits how you will be a perfect fit for the company and for the position you are interviewing for. Try and show some genuine passion when you're talking about your accomplishment. Now question number 10, do you have any questions to ask me? Now this is the question which every interviewer will ask you at the end of the interview. Now most of the people, 99% of the people will say no sir, thank you because they want to get rid of the interview as soon as possible. But that is not the way. You need to ask at least one or two questions. You can relate uh, the latest happenings in the organization and formulate a question. So I've recently heard about this product which your company has launched. Uh, how's the response about it? Now this is how you will make an impact. The interviewer will think that this guy knows what is happening in my company. And if I hire him, he will be a valuable contributor. So around 75% of the job seekers will say no. That's everything to this question, which is a terrible response. This question gives you a fantastic opportunity to stand out from the crowd and show your knowledge and passion for the company or the organization you are interviewing for. Always have few questions prepared and have one based around something you found during the company research phase. Ask about something you have discovered in your company research. This will show your passion and knowledge of the company. Now, this is how you can answer this question. Now, I'm sure these 10 questions would have certainly helped you to get a basic understanding on how, on how you can appear for your first interview. Or if you're an experienced person, you can handle these 10 questions effectively. So what is that one question which you really liked? You can comment below. And I'm sure this video will certainly be a great help to you. If you like the video, you can press the like button and encourage me to make more videos of this sort. And also subscribe to my channel so that next time when I upload a video, you definitely will be the first person to receive the same. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon.